Recent changes in the UK property market have brought about a notable decline in house prices and mortgage approvals. This drop can be attributed to a decrease in mortgage rates. If you're a homeowner or a potential buyer wondering when mortgage rates will go down, this video aims to provide you with some insights. The COVID-19 pandemic caused a significant surge in house prices due to various factors, including stamp duty cuts, low interest rates, and the desire for more living space. However, the dynamics began to shift in the second half of 2022 as interest rates started to rise. This, coupled with the ongoing cost of living crisis, led to higher mortgage rates, which ultimately impacted the housing market. The available data from house price indexes presents a mixed picture, with some indicators showing signs of recovery, while others indicating a slowdown. According to Nationwide's latest house price index, there has been a tentative sign of recovery, with house prices experiencing a 0.5% increase in April. However, the number of seasonally adjusted UK residential transactions recorded a significant 19% year-on-year -year decline in March 2023, as reported by HMRC's latest data. Additionally, Right Move's house price index reveals that the prices of properties coming to the market only rose by 0.2% in April, which is considerably lower than the average of 1.2% typically observed during this time of year. In response to a cooling market, sellers are resorting to discounts of up to £14,000 to realistically rate price their homes and secure a sale. Furthermore, the barrier to home ownership in 2023 is predominantly affordability. With inflation still high and house prices inflated above pre-pandemic levels. As a result, prospective buyers may be postponing their property buying journey and holding onto their deposits until living costs stabilize. The key to higher sales and more people owning their own homes lies in the construction of a higher volume of affordable housing. In terms of mortgage costs, the Bank of England has raised interest rates in order to address soaring inflation driven by the high cost of energy. When interest rates rise, mortgages become more expensive, as lenders typically pass on the increase to customers through higher monthly payments. Fixed rate mortgage holders won't experience any changes until their plan ends while those with tracker mortgages will witness the rates and payments increase alongside any upward adjustments in the Bank of England rate. Even a slight increase in the bank rate can significantly raise monthly mortgage costs. For instance, a 0.5% increase by the Bank of England would add £56 per month to a 25-year to £100,000 mortgage for individuals on a tracker mortgage deal. Forecasts suggest that the Bank of England is expected to reduce its base rate from the current 4.5% to 3% to by the end of next year, with a further cut to 2.5% by the end of 2025. While this represents a substantial decline, it's important to note that rates are still rising faster than they are falling. The Bank of England has raised its base rate on several consecutive occasions since December 2021 when it stood at 0.1%. Initial expectations were that the base rate would peak at 4.5% in the coming months, but the recent decision by the Monetary Policy Committee to raise the base rate might mark the penultimate hike in the tightening cycle. The future trajectory of interest rates will depend on the speed of inflation's decline and concerns regarding wage growth and inflationary pressures. The most likely scenario is that interest rates will rise from the current rate to a peak of 6%, remain at that rate for the rest of this year, and then be reduced to 4% in the following year. According to the IMF, recent increases in real interest rates are expected to be temporary and advanced economies' central banks are likely to ease monetary policy and bring real interest rates back to pre-pandemic levels once inflation is brought under control. This potential course of action could provide relief to mortgage borrowers who have witnessed an increase in their monthly repayments due to rising rates. However, Attempting to predict the exact path of interest rates is not advisable, as it is beyond most people's control and remains uncertain. Instead, financial experts recommend focusing on factors within one's control, such as the ability to handle potential mortgage payment increases if interest rates rise and considering future plans for moving or borrowing within the next few years. It's worth noting that fixed rates are gradually decreasing, with some lenders offering rates below 4% on low loan-to-value products and buy to let rates are also lower than they have been in the past six months. When it comes to choosing between a tracker or a fixed rate mortgage, there is no definitive answer as both options have their advantages and disadvantages. With a variable tracker rate, borrowers may witness fluctuations in their monthly repayments based on changes in the Bank of England base rate. On the other hand, 
Those with fixed rates can maintain a consistent mortgage payment throughout the loan term, regardless of changes in the base rate. Selecting the mortgage type that best aligns with your current and future affordability is crucial. In conclusion, while it is predicted that mortgage rates will decrease throughout 2023, it's important to note that rates may vary among lenders. Borrowers must carefully consider the type of mortgage that best fits their affordability and financial goals. By staying informed and making informed decisions, homeowners and potential buyers can navigate the ever-changing landscape of mortgage rates.